Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy Clip here. We're going to be talking about this week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, starting off by saying Zodiacs topped the uh, YCS this weekend. 30 out of 32 decks were Zodiacs. Zodiacs, 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 Zodiacs. <laughs> Anyway, 30 out of 32 decks topped out with Zodiacs, and the thing is that Zodiacs, a lot of people say it's broken because of the one card combos, and you know, like, you can splash it into any deck and it makes every deck equal again, like, I mean, I think during the UICS there was Infernoid Zodiacs, there was Kaiju Zodiacs, there was like, um, I mean, Zodiac anything, you know, you can just put it into whatever, and a lot of people believe that's broken. Now, that brings me to the next topic, Link Summoning. A lot of people say that Link Summoning is going to, uh, what do you call it, check the Zodiac uh, engine, or check Zodiacs, check every deck in particular. DDDs, the deck that I just built. Uh, uh, it's not going to be viable in the next format, or the next, uh, what do you call it, uh, fucking game mechanic. That thing, it, it's going to slow down the deck a lot, like it's going to have to, you're going to have to really think hard about your special summoning and you know, you're tributing and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, the thing with Link Summoning is, it's very controversial because, oh yeah, it changes the game. The map's not gonna be the same anymore. You can't special summon monsters wherever the fuck you want. Like, now you're actually gonna have to think about the spaces. And the thing with that is, I think it makes the game a little bit more fair. I am on the side, I, I'm, I'm liking the new Link Summoning. Because it, the game was getting too fast. It slows it down. Uh, I would compare it to maybe Magic. I mean, although it's a lot more complex than that game, it's gonna have the same pace. Like, it's going to be slowed down to the point where you're gonna have to think about uh, what you should special summon in, in what order. I know that uh, Dark Worlds is able to do that. Like, the broken Grapha, re, uh, what do you call it, Grapha from Rave, you know, just to return one to the hand, and then you can discard, like, let's say a Beige or something, special summon that, and then uh, go and, like, normal summon your, uh, well, like, special summon it by normal summoning it with a Trance, and then you have three monsters on the board, wipe those out, get out your uh, Deco Talker, which is the card everyone's using as an example, and, you know, just make your plays off from there, but it's going to take a lot of thinking. EDDs, same thing, you're gonna have to think a little bit harder um, when you're summoning monsters. Like, uh, they're not gonna be able to make that Crystal Wing, uh, Siegfried, and what was the other one? Uh, Infusion, I guess Beowulf, or like, oh yeah, Hope Harbinger, but you know, I don't have that card. Expensive as fuck. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, it's gonna slow down the decks like EDDs, decks like. Uh, we call it Dark Synchros, X Light, Evil Zars, but I think, you know, Evil Zars can probably find a way around that with a uh, less little combo. That brings me to the next one. The last set that just came out was a fusion set. Basically, for Eidolons and Fluffles and, uh, I forget what the other one, oh, Invoker, yeah, that's the other one. The thing is with those, um, is that a lot of people don't want to buy it anymore because uh, they think that it's on uh, Deathless. It's literally on Death Row waiting for the Link Summoning to come in. Because once Link Summoning comes out, those plays are going to be way harder to make than they were like well, than they are now. Uh, I do agree with what Team APS said that there might be a split in the community, whereas some will probably want to play pre-2017 and then post-2017 Link Summoning mechanic stuff. The thing is with Link Summoning is that it breaks all Pendulum decks. Well, I mean, I mean, it doesn't break them. It uh, checks all Pendulum decks. In fact, it outright nerfs them. Like, Pendulums are not... They're gonna be really hard to play now. You can still play them. You can, you know, like, Pendulum Summon from the Monster Zone uh, into the extra deck Monster Zone and then, I guess, make a Link Summon play from there and then use the extra Monster Zones. And then, of course, you can... Uh, you know, like soul charge all your uh, extra deck monsters back without any problems. You know, the only thing is that you have to link summon them uh, right out of the extra deck. But some decks like Dynamis, uh, you know, Pepe, um, uh, what is it like? I guess Draco Slayers. All of those decks are going to be nerfed the fuck out. Like, 
you're gonna and, and the thing is that now the pendulum zones are going to be in the spell zone, so you have to really think hard about which spells, what traps, whatever that you want to set. Or and if you even really want those pendulums in those zones, because they're gonna be taking up uh, two out of the five spell trap zones that you have. So I do think that they should have checked pendulum a, a long time ago. I, I don't even think pendulum should have been a thing. It really pissed me off whenever I would go against like a perform pal deck and you know work really hard to kill all their shit. Dark hole, Rageki, uh, Torrential Tribute, whatever. No, just pendulum something in the back, you know, bop, bop, and I'm <laughs> fucking done with that shit. So I'm kinda glad that Link Summoning is here to check that. <laughs> really glad it pisses me off. Uh, now you're actually going to have to think of where you're placing it, because then if you place uh, a normal monster into the extra deck, into that Link Summon zone, and you know, you forget to, you want to fusion summon a monster, well you can't use, put it in that zone because you already used it up with a normal monster, so, uh, yeah, like, we're gonna have to worry about monster zones now. So we covered the topics of the YCS, Zodiacs, and Link Summoning, which were the three major things that have happened this week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you, you so much for watching our video. Up. Please like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Team DNP, like signing subscribe. out. Please don't be a cook. Thank you.